this is how you get a capacitor to self charge itself even though technically it's shorted out you just put the leads in the water only the leads of the capacitor which I believe are aluminum or zinc not quite sure only the only the legs or only the leads of the capacitor should be what touching the water don't let the alligator clips or anything else touch the water then you pretty much made a water battery that's not what you're going for here you just want only the leads of the capacitor to be touching the water so technically it's shorted out but it's not it's self charging itself and this is how you get a capacitor to self charge very slowly though but it's self charging and it can be either tap water or distilled water it does not matter once again don't let the, uh, the alligator leads touch the water only let the leads of the capacitor touch the water and both leads of the capacitor are the same metals so it's not a galvanic reaction but technically it's shorted out but it's self charging itself and it should work with most electrolytic capacitors pretty neat stuff isn't it <laughs> pretty cool